What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are doing a comparison with the Ninjago movie sets and the Batman movie sets. Now this comparison is going to be in four categories. We're going to have value, design, playability, and the minifigure series. Also, this is just going to be the Wave 1 sets, and we're not going to be including the Ninjago City sets. But without further ado, let's get into the comparison. The first topic will be value. This is going to include a lot of math, so let me first explain. The math that is used is simply just averages and medians, which is the middle number for those of you who don't know or may have forgot. I have also created a table of all the categories, which you can see on the screen. Anything that is green means the winner of the category, and red means the loser. However, while the numbers in this chart are accurate, the winner and loser can be opinion based and could be changed if you were to add more details onto this list. The list I have created is just for people who want information on value at a simple yet detailed look at the difference between Batman and Ninjago. As a whole, Ninjago has more to offer, however the Batman sets seem to be in general cheaper as the average price states. Now moving on to design. This again is another opinionated subject, and what I say is not at all fact. Personally, when I compare these sets, I say that Batman has overall a stronger line of smaller sets, while Ninjago has a stronger line of bigger sets. What I mean is when I compare sets under $50, I think that in general, Batman is better. For example, the Riddler Racer is, a be is better than both the Manta Ray Bomber and the Flying Jelly Sub in my opinion. However, when comparing sets $50 or more, I think Ninjago is much better. For example, the Fire Mech is much better than the Killer Croc Tailgater. Again, this is my opinion. The one factor that helps push Ninjago in the lead for this category is the fact that it has more pieces allowing for more impressive builds. And the price per part ratios are pretty good. However, when it comes down to design, this is just completely opinion based and while I may have a perspective, you may have a different perspective. The third topic being playability is again another opinion based topic. Both sets have an average of two functions, while Ninjago had a little more, I think it was 2.2 for Ninjago and 2.1 for Batman. You know, it's it rounding them down to two, it's, it's pretty hard to uh, tell, but what really makes Batman the winner in this category is the fact that the cheaper sets have some of the main characters. You can get the Joker, Batman, Batgirl, and Robin for a combined total of $35 if you buy the Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase and the Joker Balloon Escape. Granted, these sets don't have great part per price ratios, but personally, I find it more appealing than having to spend around $150 to get the 6 Ninja, along with Master Wu if you want to spend $10 more and get the Destiny Bounty set. Or you could buy the uh, Temple set and get that for $100, but you don't get the hoods, you get the hair pieces. But, I mean, those are all pretty important characters for much higher than a $35 price. So when it comes down to it, I think that Batman does win for playability. However, this again is an opinion-based subject, so it is up to you to decide which one you think is better. Now let's get into the minifigure series, probably the most opinionated part of this comparison. The minifigure series for both Batman and Ninjago come with 20 mi minifigures. However, when it comes to which series is the most solid, the Batman series wins. Every figure in the Batman series has a good reason to be there. Even though some aren't great, the Ninjago series have some pretty awful figures including Lloyd and Sensei Wu which just have a few special accessories and other than that, you know, are just generic figures. As a whole, I do think both series are good and both have their fair share of great and okay minifigures, but if I were to choose a complete series, I would choose Batman because of the previous mentioned points I made. However, if it were to come down to just buying an individual pack and I would know what figure I'd get, I would probably choose the Ninjago series because personally I like some of those figures better than some of the figures in the Batman series. Because of this, the Ninjago series loses out to the Batman series. Now let's take a review at all the topics. Ninjago beat out Batman when it came to value, and it also beat out Batman when it came to design, however, when it came to playability, 
Batman was able to beat out Ninjago, and when it came to the minifigure series, Batman again beat out Ninjago. As it stands, I have this as a tie. However, if I were to choose one, I would choose the Ninjago movie just because the value in general is better and I prefer value over more stuff like playability and quantity and stuff like that. However, this is again an, opin an opinion based video. So if you guys have a different kind of idea of which theme you think is better, make sure you leave that in the comment section below. If you want, you can go ahead and vote on which theme you think is better. And you can also leave a comment on reasons why you would agree or disagree with the points I made in this video. I thank you for watching this entire video, and if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a comment or just hitting the like button. But until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.